Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at Black Myth Wukong on my Steam Deck Steam OS. This is my most anticipated game for 2024 and it's actually doing really well. This game came out four days ago and last I read, it's already surpassed 10 million copies sold. So big congratulations to Game Science. And yeah, I'm, I'm surprised it's doing so well because uh, this is considered the first Chinese developed AAA game. So I'm happy it's doing really well. Hope more games like this is coming and yeah uh, i haven't played a lot of it you can see i've got like 3.6 hours on record and like that's um me tweaking a lot of the settings so i haven't really even played a lot of it it's tweaking uh, making it uh, work better on my steam deck stuff like that um that's because i took my family to thailand for a vacation and i'm editing the video so i'll be posting the videos of my trip on my secondary channel grown up cooking i'll leave a link in the description you can go over there and subscribe and you know if you're interested in like my personal life um if you want to know more about thailand it's it's amazing so yeah go over there and subscribe and without further ado let's open up the game i've already got it loaded so you don't have to really wait so here, here's the game it's not like performing the best on the steam deck um i'm on like low settings and like it doesn't reach 30 fps stable uh, but yeah, I'll be working around with that later. I'll be like trying out different like performance mods. Hopefully I can um, get a better um, performance. But one of the big complaints I see about this game is there's no minimap and people get lost and stuff like that. And I've installed a mod. See this? So I've got a mod that brings out a map. All right, it's real time. Like I'm actually on the um, in the middle of the screen in on the bridge and you can see I'm moving around. So yeah, it's it's real time. So if you're fighting, you're like, if you're in combat, don't pull out this this uh, map, okay? And you can see like the green like leaves. The, those are the stuff where you can collect stuff, and the red dots are the enemies. And you've also got um like where the chests are. So yeah, it's a pretty amazing mod. Um, it's simple. Maybe it gets like improved upon, but yeah, it's it's quite good to have this mod. So I'll show you how to install this mod. Um, on your Steam Deck in desktop mode later on. But yeah, let's just take a look at it. Yeah, it's amazing, amazing. Yeah, I can't beat that that this enemy right now. This is a big enemy. Uh, I'm. It's in the early stages of the game. I tried to fight it, but I died. So yeah. All right. So let's go back to desktop mode, and I'll show you how to install this mod. So I'll see you back there. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is you need to know where the game folder is located. So go over here to your Dolphin file manager, open it up, we're at home, and then make sure you click the hamburger button, show hidden files. This is checked. I've got the Steam version, so it's in this hidden folder, .steam, Steam, and then Steam apps, common, and you can see here Black Myth Wukong. This is the game folder location. If you installed it onto your SD card, it will be a similar path, but on your SD card location, okay? And if you have it, like if you have the Epic Game Store version and you installed it with Heroic Games Launcher or Lutris, it would be on your Lutris or Heroic Games um, folder that you define. So yeah, make sure you locate it. This is the game folder. And once you've got that, you can go and download the mod. So. The mod is called Simple Map. I'll link it in the description. You can just click on this um, and go directly here on Nexus Mods. Okay, and then if you go to Files, click Manual Download, there's a dependency for this mod. So you need to download this REUE4SS Mod Loader and Debug Tool. So click on it. Okay, so you also need to download this. So make sure you're logged into Nexus Mods. It's free, uh, but you need to be logged into download so go to files for this re ue4 ss mod loader go to manual download and then once you're logged in you click slow download it's an 8.9 megabyte file okay i've already got it downloaded i've got it right here so let me go to my downloads directory see this is the the mod it's a zip file the 8.9 megabyte one and then back over to simple map click download and also click slow download and i also also already have that it's here so i've got the two mods it's a zip file first we've got to install the ue4ss one double click it okay it's something like this 
Okay, and where we're gonna put this? Go to the game folder B1 binaries Win64. Okay, I already have it. So yeah, just highlight these two. So the UE4SS folder and the DWMAPI.dol. So just drag these two over. Okay, and I'm just gonna override it. So now you've got this UE4SS folder and you've got this DOL file. Okay, that's done. Then for the simple map mod, oops. Okay, go here, extract this. Okay, extract this B1. It's got a B1 folder. Just go back to your root of your game folder where it has B1 and just extract it over and overwrite if you need to. Okay, and that's basically it. Okay, and then go over to your Steam library. Go over to your Steam library, go over to your game, Black Myth Wukong, and in the properties, okay, add this command okay wine dol overrides equals dwmapi equals n comma n and then percentage command percentage and then at the end um hyphen file open log okay i'll leave this in the description you can copy and paste it in case you know you did something wrong and that's it so now let's go back to gaming mode and i'll show you how to map the buttons so you're back in gaming mode Okay, welcome back to gaming mode. So open up the game and let me double check the properties. Make sure the launch options is there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now we're going to launch the game. And once the game is loading, you can press the Steam button. Okay, go to controller settings. Okay, and make sure you enable back grip buttons like this. Okay, and for me, I just like remove the ones that I don't need. So L4, L5, I don't need. R4, I also don't need. So I'm just going to go and remove command. And R5, that's the key I want. And I'm just like go to keyboard and map it to the M button because this brings out the map. So my R5 button now is mapped to the keyboard M key and that that is how it works so let me just boot up the game so if you're liking the video so far make sure you hit the thumbs up button it really helps out we talk a lot about gaming handouts especially the Steam Deck Lenovo Legion Go Nintendo Switch we talk a lot about mods cheats trainers stuff like that emulation so if you're a fan of that make sure you subscribe let me just boot into the game right now and see if the R5 button works. It should bring up the map. Um, I'll be doing uh, more videos uh, for this game. It's really like a really good game. I'm really excited for this game. I haven't played a lot of it, uh, but I'll be doing like some performance mod videos. I'll probably try out some um, DLSS enabler mods, try to get better performance. I'm mostly playing this on the Legion Go though. Because it does run better on the Legion Go. Alright. Okay, you see. Works. Amazing. Yep. Working fine. So yeah. That's how it's done, guys. So let me know if you have any issues in the comment section. Or if you don't have any issues, just leave a comment. Say something nice and we can engage in a little conversation. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.